The weather is very changeable today. Some rain and sunshine, wind, stillness. So you have to be prepared for lots of eventualities. It's the same with the world at large. Things are very changeable. Even our body is very changeable. So we have to provide a safe place for the mind inside. So when things outside get difficult, we have a good place to stay inside, a place where there's a sense of ease, a sense of well-being. The image they have in the canon is of a monk in his hut. The rain is pouring down, and he says, my hut has a good roof, so rain as much as you like. So create a little hut for your mind, a place where you're safe, regardless of whether the wind comes or the sun comes out or the rain falls. You've got a good place inside. Otherwise, if you go out laying claim to things, that means you're exposed. If you're going to go out and lay, lie down on the ground and say, this ground belongs to me, I won't let the rain fall on it, well, the rain's going to fall on you. As long as you realize the ground isn't really me. There are times when I use it as my own. But it's not wise to hold on to it all the time. Have a sense of the right time and the right place to hold on to things and when to let go. And you live in this world a lot more easily. This applies to your body as well. Your body leaves you exposed to illness, aging, death, pains of different kinds. So when they invade the body, you have to say, well, this is not mine. Try to stay with your sense of awareness that's separate from the body. This is one of the reasons why we meditate, is to develop that sense of the separate awareness. So that you can withdraw to a safe place when you have to. This is a large part of the wisdom that the Buddha provides. Of course, his wisdom goes beyond simply that sense of separate awareness. It goes to something much deeper inside. But the separate awareness that can see things and not be affected by them is a really good place to start. So let the wind come, let the rain come, let the sun come. As long as your shelter is solid, then you have nothing to fear from them. As long as your sense of being separate from these things is strong. You won't cause yourself any suffering over them.